The proletariat is right. The proletariat must always be right. And the revolution of proletariat against oppression must go on forever uh, and forever. Leon, I was just reading and the forever. encyclopedia. The heading? Trotsky Leon. Oh, good. It's about me. Listen to this. On August 20th, 1940, a Spanish communist named Ramon Merceder smashed a mountain clubber Saxon Trotsky skull in Koyakin, a suburb of Mexico City. Uh, Trotsky died the next day. What is year of that encyclopedia? 2021. Yes. What's interesting. I am Trotsky. Yes. And this is our house in Koyakin. Yes. And you have Spanish guard, gardener named Ramon. Mercedes, yes. Hmm. There aren't any other Trotskys living in Koyakin, are there? Um, I don't think so, not under that name. Hmm. What is the date today? Um, August 21st, 1940. <laughs> then I'm safe. That article says it happened yesterday. Uh, and yeah. I bet it is a multi climber sex today. Uh, Leon. <sighs> Will the Catless Press navigate six right? But, Leon, isn't that the handle of a mountain climber sex sticking out of your skull? It certainly does look like one. And you know, Ramon was here yesterday telling me about his multi climbing trip. I can't remember if he had it when he left the room. Mm -hmm. Did Ramon report to work today? No one is safe. Force must be used. And the revolution of proletariat against oppression must go on Leon? forever and forever. Leon, I was and just forever. reading the encyclopedia. Is it the Britannica? Listen to this. The universe has viewed by victors. On August 20th, 1940, a Spanish communist named Ramon Merceder smashed a mountain climber sex in Trotsky's skull in Koyakin, a suburb of Mexico City. Trotsky died the next day. Yes, huh? I think there's a mountain climber sex in your skull right now. I knew that. When I was shaving this morning, I noticed handle sticking out the back of my head. So, for a moment or so, I thought it was an ice pick. At first, I just wore it. No, it's not an ice pick. Don't even say this word. You know my recurring nightmare about ice pick. Yes, dear. That buries itself in my skull. Yes, dear. That is why I have forbidden any of the servants to allow ice picks in this house. No one may be seen with ice pick. Especially not Spanish communists. But, Leon. We'll do without ice. We'll drink our liqueur net warm. Who cares if this is Koyakan in August? Hmm, not a bad song title. L Leon? Koyakan. In August, Koyoyakan, in August, or we'll get ice, but we just won't pick at it. Ice will be allowed in blocks, but not be cheap to pick under any circumstances, at least not with ice picks. Ice cube trays will also be allowed, if they've been invented it. I'll bet that article says nothing about ice cube trays, does it? Uh, no. Does it? No, no. Ha! I've outsmarted the desk. Which is, which is only catless explanation to the status quo. Also, look at this. Do you notice it? Uh, no. It's a skull. Well, I knew that, but... I bought this skull. I own this skull. So what does make this? Trotsky skull. skull. If some Spanish communist posing as a gardener wants to pick something into my skull, be it ice, you know, to anything else, this will be here as a decoy. He'll see this skull, recognize it as mine, he'll bury something in it, and he'll go his way, and I'll go mine. Is that ingenious? Well, up to a point. <laughs> Fifty more years of Trotsky. I have some very bad news for you, Leon. Mountain climber sacks? Ingenious. No one is safe. This is very bad news. This is serious. Uh, what is serious, Leon? I have multi climber axe buried into my skull. Well, smashed, actually. It says here, Mercedes, smash the axe into your skull, not All early. right. What I'm going to do? Well, maybe a hat would cover the handle, you know, those cute little alpine heads with a point in it. Um... The article says I will die today. Uh, the 21st. That's today. Does it say what time? Um, no. So much for usefulness of that encyclopedia. All right, all right. I have until midnight at the latest.
Um, what should I tell Cook about supper? Well, she can forget about the soup course. Uh, niet, niet, niet! But this man is a gardener. Yes. At least he's been posing as a gardener. Yes. Doesn't that make him a member of proletariat? I don't know. I don't think so. Then what's he doing? I smash him out the one accent of my skull. Oh, well, have you been oppressing him? Why would Ramon have done this to me? Ah, maybe he's a literalist. What? A literalist. Maybe Ramon ran into Manuel yesterday. You know Manuel, the head gardener? I know who Manuel is. I know you know who Manuel is. One of these days, Mrs. Trotsky. Bang! Zoom! Well, maybe Ramon asked Manuel, uh, will Mr. Trotsky have time to look at the nasturtiums today? And maybe Manuel said, I don't know. Ask Mr. Trotsky. Very funny. <laughs> or, or maybe he's just hot to Trotsky. Oh, very, very <laughs> funny. Or, or maybe he just want to pick your body. Stop it! <laughs> Call Ramon in here. Uh, Ramon! You better get him quickly! I have multi climber sex buried into my skull! Ramon! Come quickly! Good morning, Ramon. Good morning, senor. So have a seat, please. Oh, thank you. You see, we have very good employer employee relationships here. Ramon, did you bury this multi climber sex into my skull? I did not bury it, senor. I smashed it into your skull. Excuse me? You see, you can still see the handle, right here. Well, it's true, Leon. The axe is not entirely out of sight. Alright, but why did you do this? I think I read about it in Encyclopedia. The power of the printed world! Actually, I wanted to use an ice pick, but I couldn't find any around the house. But why? Do you realize who I am? Do you realize that you smashed this multi-climber axe into the skull of a major historical figure? I helped run the Russian Revolution. I fought Stalin. I was a major political theorist. Why did you do this, Ramon? Was it political disaffection? Anti-counter-revolutionary backlash? Actually, it was love, senor. It's true, Leon. I'm sorry you have to find out about it this way. No! Yes. No! See. Si. Oh, God, what a fool I've been! Why did you do this, Ramon? You will never know, Senor Trotsky. This is a nightmare! But luckily for you, this soon will be over. All right. Thank you, Ramon. You may go. All right. Wait, Senor Trotsky? Yes? Will you have some time to look at the nasturtiums today? They're really very beautiful. I don't think so, Ramon, but I'll try. All right. Hasta la vista, senor. Or should I say... Buenas noches. The 21st of August, 1940. The day I'm going to die. And the two things that I've gone over so many 21st of August in my life, like a man walking over his own grave. It has been wonderful being married to you, Leon. Thank you, Mrs. Trotsky. Though it was a burden at times being married to a major historical figure. I'm sorry I was away from home so often attending the revolution. I understand. And I'm sorry I couldn't have been more in touch with my feelings. No, please. And uh, I had such express, uh, such troubles expressing my emotions. Well, I have not been everything I should have been. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a little late for regrets with a mountain climber sacks in one's skull. Well, smashed, actually. All right. It wasn't all the age of cancer. Oh. I speak that I feared for years it was mountain climbers axe wielded by a Spanish communist posing as a gardener. You really couldn't have guessed that, Leon. So, even, as, even an assassin can make the flowers grow. The gardener was false, even the garden he tended was real. How was I to know that this man was my killer and I pass him every day? How was I to know that the man tending nasturtiums would keep me from what the weather will be like tomorrow? How was I to know I'd never get to see Casablanca, which wouldn't be made until 1942, 
and the which I have despised anyway. How was I to know? I'd never get to know about the bomb or 80,000 dead at Hiroshima. Or Gorbachev or rock and roll or the state of Israel. How I supposed to know that I'd be rusted from the history books of my own land. Oh, but reinstated, at least partially. Sometimes, for everyone, there's a room that you go into, and it's the last room you'll ever see. Or you go out the room, and uh, it's the last room you'll ever see. This is my last room. But you aren't even here. This desk. These books. You're not even here, my love. That calendar. The flowers in the garden. You standing there. This is yesterday you're seeing. You're in a hospital, unconscious. What was the entry? Would you read it again? On August 20th, 1940, a Spanish communist named Ramon Mercedes smashed a mountain climber sex in Trotsky's skull in Kharkiv, a suburb of Mexico City. Trotsky died the next day. It gives a little hope about the world, doesn't it? That a man could have a mounted lumber sack smashed into his skull and live on for one whole day. Maybe I'll go look at the Nastir ships. <laughs>